just coincidentally, you got two kids from Georgetown. Normally, they're not hardly any kids from Georgetown here. And, and, and even though we have 30 some kids here, only three of the kids are from Georgetown. These kids are all from all over the state. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, 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 I think the most interesting thing about this whole reconstruction bit is the fact that if a girl who is a who of mixed, given the same offenses as a boy today, does not have an alternative school to go to like this, they go to jail. Judge has no choice. There's no place to send. So we rebuild the facility. These girls will have an opportunity to come to a facility like this for these boys to give, be given a second chance. Now, the, uh, you can see we're going to have a soccer, football field, basketball uh, uh, court. We eventually will have a gymnasium, and then we're going to have a day school where you get offenders who are not serious enough to go to schools like this, but they uh, oh, really? it's like borderline. borderline. Yeah. They come here and uh, during the daytime, and then they can go back to their facility. So you can see we, we, we've got a pretty good spread here, a little expensive. But uh, we are uh, very positive that we're going to be able to do it. The three and a half million covers everything? Everything. We already bought the land and do so. What's also interesting about this is that we're going to have a hotel, a motel, where the parents of these kids can come and spend a weekend with them and a counselor could deal with both the parent and with the kid, sort of tie them together on the things that we're doing. Yeah, the most interaction they parents have with the kids is on the weekend. They, don't, they can't. Right now, there's no place for them to stay in. They, they have to pay their own way when they come. We'll give them to this free of charge when they come. They, we can serve from the dining facility, the they meals. Come, they can come as many weekends as they want? Uh, I, I'm sure they'll deal with the council. Yeah, yeah. The kids have to have a, a few ranked high. Hoping for they can they get that type of visitation. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how they're allowed uh, the length of the phone calls. That, what, this, they almost like, this, this almost is like, like boot camp, like a military. Well, you know, what, yeah, basically what it is, is it, it's a secured facility. Yeah. The only thing we do, the whole philosophy has always been not to, have, not to have any razor wires, not any bars, but it's a secured facility, 24-7. Um, your, your ratio of staff to students is like about four to one. In other words, the state requires you to have a residential facility. Well, no, your staff. Interesting thing about the public schools are about under 34, 35 or so, something like that number. Our number is about 114 or something like that. And these kids, about 99% of the kids who come here are low behind us. But when they leave, they we usually move them up about 2.5. Yes, sir. We had a kid graduate. He didn't know how to read when he got here, and he actually wrote his own speech and read it. Yeah. Yes. And, and he told us uh, that, that was really that tear your heart when he said, "Look, I didn't know how to read before I came in. I'm gonna try to read my speech this time." And he got up there in front of all these and people. And everybody was there. We had 200 people at the graduation, and everybody was with this kid. Yeah. They were nervous for him, and he started to read. And he was reading slowly. So his, the paper, you know, the paper went up yeah. as he was trying to hide behind the paper, but yeah. he was reading it. Yeah. He finished the whole speech. It was beautiful. Oh, thank you. The number one man, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so on. So we said, "Not catch on." Call us up, provide a catch our number, and you go ahead and get your food, everything goes point order. You get the shower point order, you, you know, everything basically goes point order.
Well, but, I mean, yes, sir, sometimes, sometimes staff come on campus, there's staff that take us to their church, and also do several religions. Yes, sir. And also yes, sir. certain Saturdays, I think it's every other Saturday, we have a fellow come in from our community, and he comes in here and he, he reads out the Bible, and he tells us how his life, his, his troubles and tribulations in his life and everything. Start with Jeremy. One, sir. Two, sir. 